Hey everyone, this is Sterling Koza coming to you with this week's podcast episode for jazzpianoschool.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tip to boost up your modal playing chops, drawn from players like Coltrane, McCoy Tyner, Chick Corea, all the greats. It'll really give you the sound that you're looking for, so hope you enjoy. And there will be some practice material resources you can find online at jazzpianoschool.com forward slash podcast 144. All right, hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, so this sound of the so-called Coltrane scale is going to show up in two main contexts. The first you're going to see is over dominant chords. So we're first going to look at this scale or sound over a blues. And this would be a blues in the style that you might hear Chick Corea or McCoy Tyner play with a lot of sus sounds. So in my left hand, I'm using a lot of pentatonic or fourthy sounds. And if we look at the scale, it's going to flesh out our dominant chord. So if we're in the key of C, we have C, E, G, B flat. And all we're going to do is add one more note to make up a five note scale. And that's a D. So again, the scale would be C, D, E, G, B flat, C. So feel free to explore with this scale in kind of the modality of C dominant 7. And if we look at our four chord of F, we're going to add one note, which would be, you guessed it, G. So if we explore that F mode a little bit. And then back to our one chord C. And for this blues, I'm going to be using a turnaround with sort of, of a substitution that you might hear McCoy Tyner or Chick Corea use. So instead of a 2 5 1, we're going to tritone sub the 2 up to flat 6, and this key being A flat. So if we look at our A flat dominant 7, we're going to add the second note, which is B flat. And then going down to our 5 chord our G, so-called Coltrane scale. Then back to one. So you can really use this scale over all the chords of this blues, this sort of sus modal blues. So here's what it might sound like in context. One, two, one, two, three. So you may have noticed I was throwing in a few notes outside of the keys that we just looked at. And when you feel like you've mastered playing inside of the keys with C, F, 
and then our turnaround of A flat to G. You can start to throw in some of the tritone subs that you're looking at in the key of this C blues. And if you're not familiar yet with tritone subs, feel free to check out one of the previous podcasts. I believe one of them is number 39, where uh, we talk about tritone subs and how to work those into your playing. Um, for now, we're going to move on talking about tritone subs using this scale. So if I'm going to my four chord, I can use the tritone sub of C, which would be G flat. So this can be a creative way to get to the four chord. Now this is just a half step above. So we've got G flat going down to F. So in context, this might sound something like this. At the top of a chorus starting on C. So that can be a fun way to throw some color into your playing and maybe throw out a few surprises. You may also notice that I was preceding the A flat with an A7. Same principle, just coming above from a half step. Then going down to A flat, back down to G. And then that takes us back to one. So it's a really a big chromatic cycle. So see if you can listen for where the A comes in in this chorus of blues. Now this reminds me of a blues by Joe Henderson called Isotope. You may have heard this. It goes something like this. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, it's not coming to mind right now. This blues also has an A7 in the bar preceding the A flat chord. Let's see. Oh, here it is. There's our A7. So we're in the same key, and Joe Henderson throws in an A7 in the eighth bar of the blues before the A flat. So again, that would sound something like this. There's our A chord, and that's the sound that I'll use over that one. So pulling it all together, here's an, another example of a chorus using these Coltrane scale type sounds. And I'm going to throw in some tritone substitutions, and I'm going to hit that A7 heading into our A flat 7 for the turnaround. Here we go. All right, so the next context that you'll see this type of sound which can be really handy to have in your bag of tricks is over 
modal minor tunes. Now, John Coltrane would take a tune like So What, which as we know is in the key of D minor. And most people might look at that D minor seven chord and just play straight up D minor pentatonic. That doesn't really sound like Coltrane to me, <laughs> but there can be some more creative ways of finding color over this tune. And what Coltrane would do is actually go for more of a G7 sound over the D minor 7. Now we're getting closer. So last time we talked about this type of scale in the context of dominant 7th chords as a sort of dominant 7th chord with just one extra note. But there is another way to think of this sound and you might not need to look as far as you'd think. If we take that boring old D minor 7 chord with our D minor pentatonic scale, all you need to do is change one note in this scale that you probably already know, and it'll make you sound way hipper. <laughs> So if we take our D minor pentatonic, D, F, G, A, C, D, and change the seventh to go down to B, this gives us the Coltrane scale that we're talking about. So here it is over a D minor seven chord. That sounds pretty interesting to my ears. I hope it does to yours. Now, if we look at that in terms of a dominant seventh chord, we're going to be using a G dominant seventh chord. And we're going to add that second note in. So when you have Coltrane hearing G7 over D minor 7, that's the sound that how that's how he gets that sound. And on the recording of So What, I believe the bass is actually walking around G as well. So whereas we're used to thinking of this tune in D minor, I think the guys are really thinking G a lot of the time. You can hear it in the way that they play. So let's kind of get an example of how that might sound over the tune So What. Now, if we're in D minor, obviously we have our G. Coltrane scale. And when we get to the bridge, we're going up a half step to E flat minor 7. And guess what? Our scale is going to go up a half step as well. So we're going to be focusing on A flat. So this is a sort of pentatonic scale as well. Penta being five notes, except we've gone from our minor pentatonic and changed one note to have a different fifth note. Same thing going from E flat to more of an A flat centric Coltrane type scale. All right, I hope it's starting to make sense for you guys. So to finish up, I'll just give you a little example of how this can sound over a minor modal tune, so what? All right.
All right, that about covers it. A lot of those lines, I was getting some ideas from stuff I've heard Train play or other players, especially saxophone players like Dave Liebman, um, Joshua Redman, and piano players, especially like McCoy Tyner and Chick Corea. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed and found some interest in this Coltrane scale. All right, well, thanks for joining us and hope you enjoyed this week's video. Hope you found some new ideas of stuff you can put into your modal playing. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to check out the practice materials online at jazzpianoschool.com forward slash podcast 144. And if you're looking for that free content that we're posting every week, all you have to do is subscribe. There are new licks every Monday and podcasts coming out on Wednesdays. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.